My name is Adam Weeks, and yes, I'm from Orlando, Florida. And to answer your question, we do go to Disney a lot. So as developers, we have a problem. We need to know what the state of our application is to really understand what's going on. One of the easiest ways to see that state is something in JavaScript is to log it to the console. Take this basic example. We just want to see what 1 plus 2 is, and at the end of this function, let's print the 1 plus 2 variable to the console with the log. Of course, since this is JavaScript, 1 plus 2 is obviously 12. So what do we do now? We go in. Let's add some more logs. One after every variable assignment, one after the math. Let's even do the math ourselves in the log, just to see if something changed between those two lines. Well, that didn't really help. If you look closely, you'll see that it's giving us a bit of a hint to our answer, but I prefer a more direct approach. So let's try to debug our application. Just so you know, we're going to stay in Chrome for this talk, but most of these features are available in Firefox and Safari as well. In the Dev Tools, find the tab at the top that says Sources, and this will be where we're focusing. Let's open our JavaScript file from the last example in the file browser. Now we are ready to start debugging with breakpoints. Breakpoints are a way to pause your code in order to start debugging. We're going to quickly go over a few different ways to do these breakpoints. Let's start with the debugger statement. If you put the debugger statement in your code, when you have the dev tools open, the code is going to pause when it gets to that line. The debugger statement does require you to modify your code, just like the console statements, but it is very effective. Let's see what it looks like from dev tools. The highlighted line is where our code is currently paused. Notice the debugger statement. There's a lot of information on the screen, so I'm trying to go over the important parts. On the right side of the screen, you see the scope variables and what they are currently set to. Notice that the two variable is in quotes, telling us that it is a string instead of a number. This is much more helpful than the hint that the console gave us with the output being two different colors. Blue is for numbers, apparently. We also get access to our local scope in the console, and we can run code by typing it in. There's also a call stack, which can tell us where our code was call called from. If you click down the stack, You'll jump to the code that called us. Instead of making your code stop every time it hits the debugger statement, we can replace it with a manual breakpoint. A manual breakpoint can be added by clicking on the line number that you want to code the pause at. Once you click, you'll see a blue arrow on the line showing that a breakpoint has been set at that line. On the right, there is a breakpoint section of DevTools. This shows you what breakpoints exist, and you can easily enable and disable them with the checkbox next to them. Once you run your code, it will stop just like it did when we had the debugger statement in. The good thing about this is that you can turn the breakpoint on and off as needed. But you can also automatically turn the breakpoints on and off with a new thing called conditional breakpoints. So for this example, we want to set a breakpoint after our function has run four times. By right-clicking the number, we get more options for setting the breakpoint. Let's choose Add a Conditional Breakpoint. This will bring up an editor where you can type the breakpoint in the code to evaluate. When the code is true, the breakpoint will catch and allow you to start debugging. Here you can see it paused on the breakpoint when the my attempts variable was 4. Sometimes your code will throw an exception, and you'll want to figure out why. This code has an error that throws an uncaught reference. How do we figure out what the application state was at the time of the, uh, that it happened? What you want is hidden in this icon up here that looks like a stop sign. If you hover your mouse, the tooltip says, pause on exceptions. Clicking on it enables DevTools to break point when an exception happens. Let's run our code again. This time, you'll see that our application paused once that exception happened. And we are paused and ready to debug with the issue might be. Thank you.